I see Biothic as being a, a company that develops innovative products that uh, will eventually um, affect the health of every individual uh, in the world. So what we're developing is a device that allows a physician to immediately diagnose you on the spot while you're there for the first time and therefore immediately treat you right afterwards. Official operations started in about 2009. Over that time, we've been aggressively uh, developing the company, uh, accelerating its growth, and you know, we've been recognized for that, uh, having been uh, uh, chosen as winner of the 2010 Venture Prize and also as one of the top 10 emerging life science companies in Canada as well. So I guess when I was younger, um, you know, I was always a bit of a, uh, you know, I had a passion for technology. You know, I, I play a lot of computer games, play a lot of video games, right? So I always enjoyed that kind of thing. Uh, but I was also a little bit mechanically inclined, so I like to take things apart, put things together. While in engineering, uh, I decided to, you know, decided to go computer electrical engineering. Our supervisors for my grad school actually had an entrepreneurial streak uh, in him. And he encouraged his students, uh, myself and his other uh, students, to actually pursue this as well. And it was him that actually introduced us to Tech Edmonton. Um, Tech Edmonton was the first entity that told us that I could take my idea and actually commercialize it. So I now knew that uh, I could take my ideas and actually make something happen with them instead of actually going and just working for someone else. So what we're developing is a device that allows a physician to immediately diagnose you on the spot while you're there for the first time and therefore immediately treat you right afterwards if required. Some of the challenges that we're currently facing are you know, raising first capital, the second building the commercial product, so taking it from the proof of concept to the commercial product. Uh, from there, uh, taking the product through regulatory approval, so that's generally about a, about a three to nine month uh, period of time. And then from there launching the product and actually getting it into physicians' offices, so the sales and marketing. So three steps that we still have to overcome before the product is out uh, in physicians' hands. Nanotechnology will allow us to take technology that we're putting in physicians' hands and eventually allow us to put it in consumers' hands. So no longer will you have to even go to your physician. You'll be able to diagnose yourself for almost anything uh, from the comfort of your own home uh, with a simple off-the-shelf uh, device. So the technology that we currently use is based on the same type of technology that currently is used to create uh, iPhones or iPads. Um, the same technology that Intel uses to create their uh, microprocessors, their chips that power those uh, devices is used to also manufacture our miniaturized cartridges which are used for the test. The benefits of being an entrepreneur, really it's, it's the freedom to do what I want with my time. That's probably the most important thing. That's what I probably most enjoy doing. If I want to go down to the mountains and do some snowboarding, you know, really it's as simple as uh, finishing off my work and just heading off during the weekday if I want to. So the rewards and challenges of working in this field are that I feel like I'm contributing to the betterment of, of society. Really we're developing a device that would permit uh, individuals to be diagnosed for any disease on the spot. Um, that will go a long way in ensuring the reduction of the spread of disease and the betterment of, of the health of humanity itself. Mm -hmm.